so there were many preachers geos apostle joshua selman many of them seated on the table bragging over nothing and then the bible made a very dangerous statement it says and the wine finished but ministries were still opening branches but the wine finished conferences were still being held but the wine finished titles still been added but the wine finished new designers adding on top of our bodies from Versace to boss but the wine finished new lingua franca new greek and hebrew words but the wine finished now listen it's very interesting how do you gather people for a wedding and not prepare sufficient wine the bible called them rulers they were there on the table enjoying they didn't even know the wine finish they were holding conventions to a point that they didn't realize that the precepts of god had quietly left like the ark yet it was seen happening the man of god was rising but god was decreasing the church was rising growing richer growing blessed marriages happening in the church but the purposes of god suffering are we together now and then something strange happened all of a sudden revival started happening in that feast this is a prophetic adumbration of how it will be for the church certain men started studying that feast and said something is wrong they didn't have the courage but they started gathering themselves the bible simply calls them servants they sat down and they observed this feast jesus was in the feast but he was not on the high table they they had thrown him somewhere in the conference jesus was somewhere loitering around whereas where apostle joshua selman is still traveling nation to nation his face is on posters everywhere but jesus is in the congregation and some men looked at jesus and said is this not the man who should be most honored what is wrong where why did they push him there and they said no something is wrong they gathered themselves and they went to jesus <sighs> thank god for the convention but i spent seven days and i left lean and hungry i don't insult the man of god but i know something is wrong this is stale bread i honor him and i honor what he represents but kai uh -uh, my spirit i when the preacher came as he was preaching i felt like it was yesterday's bread for today's meal what is beginning to happen to many young people let me tell you hear me i'm rounding up all over this country and all over africa the spirit of the living god is beginning to plant seeds of dissatisfaction it's starting first with young people they sit down on sunday with every open-heartedness but as soon as they share the grace you they know something is wrong they, they do not have the courage to talk because they will be termed as rebels but they go back and say my brother i i respect this person but ah, ah. god told me how this service should be only one thing among the seven things he said would happen happen where did the man of god keep his ears 
there is a dissatisfaction ordinary people ordinary people already sensing these things right now it's a shame we hold crusades in nigeria not one miracle salvation is almost like a joke i mean you hold crusades and you make altar calls nobody comes out and then you cajole and cajole then later one person just throws out as if he's pitying the man of god and he comes out and you say i know there's at least one more that was a crusade millions were spent but the presence was not carried along I don't say this in an insultive way i love the body but we cannot ignore this if we are talking of revivals that's what brought some of you to this meeting you get up and for three days you are crying you don't know why you are crying you cannot even explain what is happening to you all of a sudden you find out that you don't want to stay where people are you can go and sit down alone somewhere is the luring of the spirit is the formation of those servants the birthing of something new is already happening the rulers were there but the old wine had finished and then this group of people went to jesus and jesus said no 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 go and continue what you are doing he said no way mary who was a type of the holy spirit in that scripture says look whatever he tells you to do because that's what these guys didn't do whatever he tells you to do do when obedience was confirmed he said go and fill six vessels six is the number of man fill that earthen vessel with the word because there are imbalances don't look for anointing yet start by correcting the patterns the vessels are empty so fill them with water there needs to be a purification and a purging you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin so they go to the man and say oh god miracles are not happening in the crusades can you give me anointing and god says sit down not anointing yet i need to teach you the precepts there is an error and an erroneous understanding you are carrying and if you are anointed upon that error you will convince people that because you are producing miracles with that error it means it's correct so i need to walk upon you because there is a pure breed that i want to bring there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, this is very important. One of the errors that I see, especially with those who are arising, now let me balance this after accusing fathers of faith lambasting people the young people want to jump process straight and carry anointing not so you will never walk with god that way no matter how many years you have been a preacher when you start working with god you go back and start again you have that one you have been doing is your pattern god's first assignment is to destroy that building because it does not reflect his glory he says ensure that the building is built according to pattern So you have been doing ministry for 10 years you have been doing what you know as ministry the day you find god don't think god will clap for you the way other people are clapping he loves you but you are going back to school i assure you you will start again if you have the humility to start again then you will rise i was doing before Jesus appeared for me, to me I saw all kinds of miracles I saw what you would call the key to rise and do miracles I saw unusual miracles with all humility but the day Jesus 
appeared to me i felt like quitting ministry honestly speaking because when you look at what you are doing and look at the jesus you claim to be representing ask isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 in the year that king Uzziah died i isaiah saw the one i had been prophesying about and Isaiah said my god what have i been doing this is not being a fake man of god this is a higher reality that swallows up everything you have known and argued about listen do not be embarrassed when god's light reflects on your darkness it's not an embarrassment it's a sign to rise higher in Acts chapter 18 there was a man called Apollos the Bible says he was a man who was mighty in scripture he was eloquent but he knew only the baptism of John that was the dimension he knew and he argued it in church held crusades with that revelation one day there were two strange men sitting in the congregation called Aquila and Priscilla when they had that man they said mm -mm. come Bible says they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly Hallelujah. are we together so jesus told them fix fill six pots when they filled it listen the anointing started as water when they fetched it as they started moving in obedience it started changing to wine as you place value on the word of God as you place value on him not just his hand not just miracles suddenly something begins to happen in your spirit man the scripture you thought was just memory verse the power in it begins to be revealed are we together and there is a transition and then all of a sudden you are holding new wine the bible says when the men drank it they said ah you keep you give the best wine at the beginning of a feast but where did you get this very wine the bible says the rulers did not know where they got it from only the servant there is a kind of wine we're introducing to this generation it's a strange type it's a type that has not been seen superior spiritual dimensions it will first be fought but because it is of god you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth certain dimensions of his presence certain dimensions of spiritual reality and there are men and women who will carry that our assignment tonight is to declare our need for him you see God is like a woman he responds on demand there's no assumption with God are we together he waits to see your desire and how passionate you are listen listen there are many of us here that god and his purposes are like a vocation when you like when you do not like i always give an example um if you had 10 naira and you were on your way for an important meeting and the 10 naira fell will you park your car and come back to look for 10 naira cheap 10 naira but when you are holding a check of 10 million naira and it's raining and it falls out what will you do you would drop the umbrella of 500 and your clothes of 10,000 and look for your check of 10,000 how do you seek God it's a reflection of your value when you seek God like a cheap 10 naira I would try to seek his face and his presence but I mean what's the big deal even if his presence doesn't come I still can speak good English so I can cover for it but there are men who will say Lord do not take us from here if your presence will not go even if it means me not preaching again as a pastor I love your presence more than salmon I love your presence more than me I need you I need you for nothing, no place, no one else will do. I need you. I need you. For so you satisfy the hunger inside. The secret to the presence of God upon my life 
it's not just fasting and prayer it's not just study of the word i can tell you one thing i am addicted to his presence i love his presence more than my necessary food i love his presence more than ministry you can call me whatever you want to call me but i have found a safe heaven in his presence i will give up any ministration a thousand times for his presence many of us will give up his presence for many things we are going to be crying tonight and you're going to say lord restore your presence i didn't know that your presence means this much leave power leave miracles leave word of knowledge leave membership let's press for his presence how shall they know that you are a favored people moses said accept your presence Without the presence of God, we are only actors on stage. We are acting Nigerian film on stage for two hours. Do you hunger for his presence? There are ladies here that will step into certain dimensions of prophetic grace. But his presence, his presence. Marriage is too small a reason to replace his presence. Are you hearing me? Prosperity is too small a reason to drive his presence. Membership is too small a reason. Car! Oh God, if you don't give me a car, except you are not God, that's your own business. There are elders and angels worshiping him, whether or not you think he's faithful. Lord, whether you bless me or not, I owe you my life forever. Whether you use me or not, I'm addicted to your presence show you a secret an addiction an obsession don't say i'm not a man of god that lets us fair christianity of one leg in one leg out oh come on give god your heart not your seed not your offering my son give me your heart give me your heart give me your heart don't give me your greek words don't give me your hebrew words give me your heart don't give me concordances i need your heart don't give me suits i need your heart don't give me blocks and cement i need your heart don't give me an excellent choir as important as that is i need your heart listen let me tell you your heart is your all and whatever is in your heart is your god whatever is in your heart while i prayed for this meeting that was a burden my assignment tonight is to draw all of us it's like an infection it's like an initiation to bring you to a point where you become an addicted follower not an apostle not a pastor nothing else grows when his presence is dying please hear me nothing else grows if it looks like he's going keep watching you will find out it has no foundation i love his presence pastor and all the pastors here we must teach our members to love god not us it's good they love us but they must love god and don't be ashamed when they love god more than you john said i must decrease they came to john and they said i thought you are the happening man this one that they are loving jesus more than you john said is correct ah i must decrease our church members do not know god but they know everything about us they know our colors the food we like they know when we are happy they know when we are angry but they know nothing about the presence of god we made it so we made it so that's what we taught them that's how we trained them we train them to ignore god when we cough we want them to buy us a pharmacy not a drug but when god is crying searching for men to use we are going to cry in the next five minutes listen i don't know how you will cry before the god of your salvation please everybody including those outside your heart must be open and you are going to say lord I exalt you more than anything there are ladies looking at me here 
you love God until a man comes into your life. So you are just using God as an instrument to help you get a husband. Before the arrival of the husband, God, let me keep using you like a charm. The day a man comes, you will wait and say, God, now that I have a husband, thank you for being an effective ladder. You have helped me rise to my desire. Let me tell you, this need given pursuit of God will never get us to experience God's presence. Am I against prosperity? Not at all. Am I against the blessings of God? Not at all. Am I against healing and miracle? Do you know why the Christian experience of many people in Nigeria does not last? We tie our experience to things, not to passion. And so we give God two months to build a house. And we say, Lord, if you are God and my pastor is a true prophet, the cement must come. And after two months, if it does not come, we just, we don't leave God, but we leave him in our hands. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Listen, the Bible says, if my people, although they are my people, it doesn't guarantee a revival. Although they are called by my name, the first thing that will happen is that they must humble themselves. What I'm saying tonight is very hard especially for we pastors but we must be able to absorb it in truth because this is what brings the glory if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then not before not during then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land now let me tell you something God loves everybody but he does not use everybody he says in a great house there are different kinds of vessels it's not the vessels that make the house great it's the builder that makes the house great there are vessels of clay wood silver and gold once upon a time i was a vessel of clay you know no matter what you are there will be somebody somewhere who calls you gold it's up to you to be sincere with god and say lord i love you it's not as though I want to be bad on myself, but I'm a vessel of clay. There are times when acknowledging your limitation before God is not lack of faith. It's the openness that brings the glory. You don't brag and do bold face for God. Your creator is not your member. So brothers and sisters, hear me. I bring you a message that is very scarce and very rare. A message that challenges your pursuit of his presence beyond money. Money, look at me. Some of you, that thing I just called, it's like I said Jesus to you. Because any other thing can go except money. It's terrible. It's very terrible. He knows my heart. Quarter to anything taking his place. Let him take it. He doesn't even have to ask me. I show you the secret of power. You will touch levels of power when your addiction for God overrides anything. You will get results you did not pray for. God will owe you his presence. You call on him and he shows up like a man owing you debt. The jamboree we do in church. They call unto me. They draw nigh with their lips. But their hearts are far. Please let's tell ourselves the truth this night. Let's be sincere with God. If we came for revival. Then I want us. To be open. Do you know why God is challenging you like this? Because you are bearing fruit. If you were not. He said he that bears fruit. My father will do. So that you will bear fruit. We're going to pray. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I truly live for you. 
like you to cry and say father take your place in my life restore that ark of your presence i used to carry that ark until fame in ministry took it away i was a man of the secret place but preaching engagement took your place in my life Before your maker, the Cabarato Soto, I want more of you. Then I want more of you. Pray, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. Jesus Should be my lead, my lead, my lead, my lead. 